<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you all if you have a modified Switch running Atmosphere custom firmware, how you can back up and restore your game saves using JKSV or JK Save Manager. So thankfully this isn't too difficult to do and it's pretty cool because not only you can save and preserve your own game saves on here however which way you want to, you can archive them on a flash drive, on your PC, on a server, cloud storage, whatever you want to do. But on top of that, this also shows you how you can download game saves from others and restore them onto your own system and profile so you can do things like run a 100% complete save on some of your favorite games. For this here, I'm actually going to be showing you how to do this with Streets of Rage 4, for example, but there's going to be a few things we will need. First of all, you will of course need a already modified switch running the Atmosphere custom firmware. You're going to need your games on hand that you have in mind, and you're also going to need a computer because we're going to need to transfer over JK Save Manager, as well as get some saves, extract them, and put them where they need to be. So with all that said, let's go ahead and move over to our PC and make sure we can transfer some files over. However you want to transfer files is going to be up to you, whether you want to use something such as the MTP responder on DBI, or if you want to use FTP, or if you just want to go old school and turn off the switch, pull out the micro SD card and pop it into your PC, whatever you want to do will work. I'm going to be using the latter option there, but either way, we do need to move over to our PC to get the goods that we need. This will be linked down below in the description of the video, but the application we're going to be using for this will be JK's Save Manager Switch Edition here, which gives a good amount of information here. Now, we're just going to be doing a basic backup and restore right here. However, this does cover others such as saves shared by all users, such as Animal Crossing here, Bcat data, cache saves, and system save data as well. So this will be up to you and which games you're going to be using, but I'll be showing you within the application, and it's thankfully not too bad to figure out here. But it has a whole lot of other options here, such as being able to export data to compressed zip files, upload and download saves to Google Drive. There's just a lot of really awesome stuff here, and I would recommend giving this a good read once you have a few moments. However, for our basic usage here, we can go ahead, scroll up, navigate over to the releases section and then download the latest NRO release that you can find. Installation of this is just like any other NRO. You're going to want to go to the switch folder and inside of here just copy and paste the jksv.nro file. At this point we can eject our micro SD card and move it back over to the console. Once you're back over at the switch let's go ahead and launch JK Save Manager. Now there's a few ways of doing it of course like any other homebrew application. You can either grab a legitimate cartridge or title, hold down the R shoulder button on your controller, and then tap the A button while holding that down. You could also build out your own folder like I have here before, and I do have a video on that, or just the older way of doing it would be just going through the album right here, launching this, and then going over to JK Save Manager and opening it up. Thankfully, this does work in applet mode, so any of those three options is okay to do. But once it opens up, it should look something like this. At the top here, you're going to have your profile as well as any other profile which is on here. You're also going to have options for device saves, which you can see Mario Kart 8 is one of those. You're going to have Bcat as well too, the cache. So if you have any cache related data, that's there. You have system here, you have settings, so you can go here check out any of the information on this if you need to do this. For example, exporting saved zip. If you want to do this here, you can enable it. I'm not going to be doing that. And finally, extras, if you want to check out any of this, you're more than welcome to. However, if we want to dump our saves, there's a few options. If you tap the X button on the user itself, you can dump all for that user, create save data, create all save data, delete all user saves if you want to. But here, I'm just going to grab one particular save. So I'm going to come in here. Let's go down to a game I know I've played a bit, which is Mortal Kombat 1. Tap A on here and you can tap A to back this up. And here you can name this whatever you want to. So I'm just going to keep this as is, which by default it names it to your profile name with a hyphen and then the date and time this was dumped. So I'm going to tap OK. And as you can see, it's been able to back that up. That was one that I was just wanting to dump as an example here, but once any of your data has been dumped, we can exit out of here, 
And at this point, we're now going to move back over to the PC because I'm going to show you the structure of it as well as how to actually move that over and keep it somewhere safe. Once our micro SD card has been inserted and accessible, we can go in here. And in the root of the SD card, you're going to see a new folder called JKSV. Navigate in here, and this is where you're going to see your games. So for example, right here, I have Mortal Kombat 1. And here I have the save that I just backed up. So it's in a folder like this, which you can name it anything. And then inside of here, you have the decrypted raw files for the actual save itself. At this point, if you ever want to back up and share this save or do whatever you want to do, you can just come back over here, right click, copy out the game itself, paste right here. And the structure just needs to look something like this. You need to have the game name. Inside of here, you have the save, which whatever you want to call it is fine. I can just call it Mario save, something like that. And then inside of here, that's where you're going to have all of your raw data. And again, if you want to right click here, zip this up, if you decide to do it later, you can do that as well too. Just keep it backed up, share it with a friend, whatever you want to do, it's all up to you at that point. However, the added benefit here is that you can also download saves online that have already been decrypted in this manner and import them onto your system. Now, I'm going to have this linked down below in the description, but this is going to be the game saves section over at GBA Temp, and there's several saves over here. However, when it comes down to this here, uh, this is one of the sites I was finding, uh, but it seems like there's sites that are kind of all over the place for Switch saves. So I'll also say this to you all, if you have any recommended places that are your favorite sites for grabbing Switch saves at, go ahead and let me know. And if I check them out and they seem to be good, I don't mind adding them to the links down below in the description, but I felt like this would be a pretty good starter right here. So if you want to get anything here, you can click on like Super Mario RPG, for example. It shows the data kind of changes all over, but you'll also see like it shows which version this is. So this is for build 1.0.1. And from here, you can just go down and download this and save it somewhere you can easily find it. For this example, since I'm going to be using Streets of Rage 4 with the DLC complete here, I end up finding this save, so I just downloaded it and saved it somewhere I could easily find it. I have a whole saves directory here with a few that I was downloading, but in this example, let's go ahead and use Streets Rage 4. So typically, you would just right click and you can extract this into its own folder. And within the folder here, these are all going to look different because again, these are all uploaded by different users. Keep that in mind. But in this example, there is a root directory right here. And there's been three different formats that are here. The first one here is for JKSV, which is exactly what we're using. And if you do this, it's going to be a little something like this. Inside of here, you're going to see that there is a date. And then inside of here is the raw saves themselves. So for this, you're going to have to right click, copy this out and we're going to have to make a new folder here for our game name so on my micro sd card i'll go into jksv i'm going to make a new folder here and call it streets of rage 4 and inside of here i'm just going to paste that in and i'll actually just rename this to downloaded save something like that is fine as long as you have this setup here where you have the game name you have whatever name you want to give this save and then inside of here, you have the raw save data. If you're confused by this one, for example, since there's a few things, it's also because this particular save also has saves in the different formats for Checkpoint and also for Edison. And if we look at these, for example, Checkpoint, Saves, here you have the ID, Streets of Rage 4, but inside of here, it is essentially the same thing. You have the game itself, you have the save name, and then you have the raw save data. And just like for Edison, for example, inside of here, we have the ID. And here, that is the actual game name itself. Here's the save. And inside of that, you have the raw data. So the nice thing is there's different applications for this, but I'm highlighting JKSV just because that is the most up-to-date one. But they really all do the same thing, which is going to be exporting out decrypted versions of saves and allowing you also to import those decrypted versions of saves. So what I'm saying here is as long as you have the format set up properly, you should be okay with this, even if you get saves that are exported from something like Checkpoint or Edison. For another example here, I know this one is Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. If you right click and you extract this into its own directory, you might notice that here you go in and it's just a straight up list of the raw save files right here. So this is where you just need to retool this one a little bit where you can just grab all of the files, right click, cut them, 
and inside of here you'd make a new folder and you could just call it again like downloaded mk8 save something like that and paste them all in here so that way you still have that folder structure where you have the game name itself you have the save name itself and then you have the raw save data right there so for this you could do the same thing if you want to copy it out and into jksv you just paste it right there and you should be good at that point so there we go we actually have a couple of saves that we transferred over but at this point we can go ahead come out here right click eject our micro sd card and bring it back over to our switch and now for storing our saves either if we've backed up saves or if we have downloaded them let's go ahead and go through that process for this here i'm actually going to launch streets of rage 4 and i'm going to show you all that i'm at the very beginning of this game i have not played it at all on this console right here so there should be no progress on this so now skipping ahead here we can tap any button and as you can see i can access the story mode but i don't have anything here and if i try to access stage select as you can see can't access any of these because I have not finished the main story on this here, but I am running the latest update on this that also comes with the nice free DLC on here. So let's go ahead and get that fixed up. We can close out of our game and let's go ahead and launch JK Save Manager. This time around, I'm going to use the forwarder for this. So once JK Save Manager ends up loading in, we should be able to come over to our profile here, tap the A button, and go down to the game you want to restore data to. So for this, I will be using Streets of Rage 4. Here we go. Inside of this, you can now make a new backup of your save, or you can access the save that you have named. Now remember I called it Downloaded Save? This is going to be it. So for this, you're going to want to highlight the save that you want to restore, tap the Y button, it's going to ask if you want to restore this, hold down the A button, keep holding, almost there, and there we go, it was pretty quick. You could also see, for example, if I grab Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, I have the downloaded MK8 save because we had to take all those raw files and put them into a folder. So you could do the same thing here if you want to. And there we go, it is restoring that onto the system. I'm not interested in playing Mario Kart 8 here, but we are going to be doing this with Streets of Rage just so we could see the example. Either way, with our saves restored, those are two downloaded saves that I got from random people online. We can go ahead and close out of this. And now let's go into Streets Rage 4, give that another launch, and we're going to see what our progress has been. So here we go. We must have gotten this from across the pond because as you can see, the language actually changed here. So I'm going to do that. But you can now see here, I will have to change the language, but everything is unlocked at this point. I'll actually go into options here, change the language, and we're going to change that over to English. So there we go. But as you can see right here, we have access to the stage select with everything completed. We have the arcade mode, we have the boss rush option, and we have our characters available here. So not all characters are going to be unlocked on this save at least, but we were able to get a lot further in what two minutes that took there as opposed to playing through the game and getting everything on here. So again, great to see overall here that we do have this up and running and working and that's about all you need to do if you want to back up your own saves, restore your own saves, or even download saves online and restore them onto your own system. Again, a super useful thing, especially if you're wanting some 100% complete saves, so that way you can just go in and have some fun with a game that maybe you've already played to death on another system, another profile, and you just want to mess around with a little bit here. But that's about it for this video here. If you enjoyed it, a like would absolutely be appreciated, and if you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well too. As I always say though, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.